Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixim Perfect, and let me ask you a very simple question. What is the smallest unit of a digital image? It's pixels, right? A 24 megapixel camera creates images that are made up of 24 million pixels. Simple stuff. Now suppose I give you a picture made up of 5 pixels and I ask you to increase its resolution to let's say 10 pixels. Now you my friend will easily fill the 5 pixels, right? But what about the rest 5? How will you fill those? That you will have to guess looking at the existing pixels. So all these software and platforms for image upscaling are basically technologies for guessing those missing pixels. Some like to use the fancy word AI and others like to use machine learning, but to put it simply, it's just technology to fill the missing pixels. It can be a simple approach, for instance, averaging the pixels close by or a very complex approach with hard math. Today, we are going to upscale a low resolution portrait using the top seven most common image upscalers in the market today and see which one is the best. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the brilliant world of Photoshop or is it brilliant? Because it's in the competition too. We are going to go through all seven platforms with a portrait for simplicity. Now keep in mind the results might slightly differ with different kinds of images. These are my personal opinions and preferences and yours might be different and it's absolutely fine because that's what makes all of us unique. So let's get started and we are going to try to rank all of these in real time in Photoshop. So here we are in our finder or explorer and I have the full resolution version just for reference so that we can compare the details and we have made a low resolution version of the same that will be processed and on another folder called upscale we're going to place the processed files using all of those seven platforms. So let's go ahead and open the full resolution version in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop with the original image with all the details and on top of that just for comparison let's open the low resolution version. So let's go to our finder or explorer low res folder. Let's drag it and drop it over the canvas right in there. Just make sure it's well aligned. So it's aligned that way. It's aligned in the center. Just make sure the pink line appears and it's perfect. So have a look original and the low res version. Now we're going to process the low res version using those platforms. The first platform to test is imagelarger.com. Pretty straightforward website. It also has its own software and you can also just process images online as well. All you got to do is to just click on this button, locate the low resolution photo, select it and then click on open. And now we need to choose how you need to upgrade it. Now, if, if it's a face, you would select a face, photo, artwork. I'm just going to leave it at high grade recommended. I have tried all of these settings and in my experience, high grade produces the best results. And we're going to go four times the resolution increase and click on start. Now, while it is processing, I got to tell you that it does have an upload limit of 1200 by 1200 pixels or less and file limits less than five megabytes. Now it does have some premium versions if you go into pricing where you need to pay. There's some amount for 99 images per month. There's some amount for a larger number of images per month. I'm on a free plan which is like 19 images per month. Anyway, it's processed right now. So let's go ahead and download it. Wow, it's pretty darn good. Let's zoom in. Very good processing. So let's place it on top of the low resolution portrait to just compare the results. So right click on it, save image as upscaled folder and let's name this image larger. All right, and let's save this. Now we're going to go to that folder, the upscaled folder and place it on top of that Photoshop document right there. Just make sure it's well aligned in the center, hit enter or return. So this one is the low res, let's just name it low res. And this one is processed by image larger. Let's look at the difference. So here's the before. Here's the after. Damn, that's pretty darn good. Before, after. Now I know it has gone a little crazier on the lips. Here's the before, here's the after, but it's so much better and the processing is so good. But do keep in mind that this platform is a little pricey. So the pricing, as you can see, if you look at the free plan, it just offers 19 images. Images per month is 99 when you when you pay $14.99 a month and then there are other plans. I think it's pretty pricey, but the quality is pretty good. Let's look at the next platform. The next platform to test is Let's Enhance.io. Now you need to create an account even in Image Larger, even in Let's Enhance to be able to process images and get a free image plan. I'm currently in the free image plan and I have four images left. So let's go ahead and use it for this tutorial. Click on this button, click here to upload. And I'm going to upload the low res, as you can see, the low res portrait. Sorry for that computer sound. Let's open that one. Now, it does give you some additional options. What kind of photos are you going to upscale? Photos and art or illustrations? So I'm going to choose photos and art, of course. 
enhancement do you want to add some textures or improve color no it's all fine for me there are some advanced settings how much you want to upscale four times eight times would require you to pay money i don't have money so we're going to go for four and jpeg is fine let's start processing while it's processing i would have loved to tell you a story but it has finished processing now it's still processing but anyway it does give you just I think just five images. Image larger gives you 19 images for free. In that case, it's kind of better, but let's see the result. At the end of the day, the quality matters. But again, you cannot be charging too high for just a simple upscaling. But anyway, let's go ahead and download this. Okay, there we are. No, no, have a look. It just removed those eyelashes. It's not good. Look at let's enhance. It's even worse than image larger. So right now we are comparing it with image larger, you know, it did a pretty good job the image looks soft image looks nice you know it image looks a little pleasing not as harsh as image larger but at the expense of losing the details have a look let's enhance come on it has also lost details in, in the lips and what about the hair we have all these lines i'm gonna rank it below image larger all right of course it's better than portrait the low resolution portrait of course it's better than that but not as good as image larger i'm sorry guys it's not aligned properly because i'm running a little fast here sorry about that but you get the idea so image larger is better than let's enhance now let's try let's move on to the next platform the next one on our list is pretty interesting and has a straightforward name and i like straightforward that is called bigjpeg.com of course we're gonna make the jpeg big it makes sense now what i like about this is that they have a higher limit so resolution 3000 by 3000 limit and limit of 10. I think image larger had a limit of 5 megabytes. This one has 10 MB, which is fine. So let's go ahead and select the file. But at the end of the day, again, quality matters. So upscaling folder, low res version, portrait. Let's open it. Let's see how much time this one takes to process because processing times matters as well. However, we have not pressed the start button. How intelligent am I? So now we have some options right here. What is the image type, which is great. This is a photo, not an artwork. 4X is fine. No, we don't want to do any kind of noise reduction. Hit OK. I think they have a premium plan as well. But anyway, we're just going to do the free version. Six minutes. Oh my God, that kind of a, that's very long. Oh, it's five minutes so that they can come up with an advertisement right there. After upgrade, you can enlarge by 8X, 16X. Let's look at the pricing. All right, let's see how much is the price. They haven't mentioned the price. There is no pricing right there. I think I need to log in to find the price. But anyway, you should have just given the price straightforward. I'm just, I don't like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on download. It took lesser than six minutes to be honest with that. And then let's name this Big JPEG. I really don't like websites when they don't tell you the price upfront and then they ask you to log in and to email the sales rep to get a quote. I don't like that. Give your price just upfront on the website if you hide your prices it just means that you charge somebody more and charge somebody less which is not really ethical i don't feel justified by that but anyway why am i ranting let's compare this with image larger so i'm going to place big jpeg first at the top so this is big jpeg this is image larger of course image larger is better in my opinion it has a little more detail let's have a look at the hair this is image larger this is big jpeg they're close but you know what i prefer image larger this is image larger wow look at that big jpeg has placed lines on the nose it, that kind of looks very ugly right in there so big jpeg is definitely not as good as image larger i'm gonna place it under image larger now let's compare it with let's enhance so this is big jpeg and this is let's enhance you know less enhance is better even though it kind of loses some details let's enhance is way better so let's just turn on big jpeg and place it even under less enhance now let's turn on image larger so as of now the ranking is image larger first let's enhance second and big jpeg third the next platform for test is deepimage.ai and you know what i like about this that this is the only website out of the entire list of seven that is absolutely free now they do have some business solutions but if you scroll down there is a section that says why it's free you can read it if you want to but i'm too lazy all you got to do is to click on use app and then click here to start they have no limitations as to how many images you can upload it's a very simple platform all you got to do is to click here to start just do that and low resolution let's just upload it let's open it and how much you want to upscale of course you want to upscale resolution let's turn it on and four do you want to remove artifacts no it's all fine all right 
By uploading the photo, you accept our terms and conditions. You can read it if you want to, but I'm just going to not read it. And you can enter your email. Also, great part is you don't require to sign up to use this platform, which is great. Always great. All right, let's go ahead and click on enhance. If you have privacy concerns, just read the terms and conditions. Now it's processing. Let's see how much time it takes. It's done. Well, it's if it's pretty fast. Now they also give you this before and after slider, which is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and download the image and we have our own before and after comparison in Photoshop. Now this one was deepimage.ai. Let's compare it with image larger first. So this is deepimage.ai and this is image larger. Of course, image larger, larger has more details. Let's compare the lips. I kind of like the lips of deep image AI a little bit, but again, I think image larger is still better. So I'm going to rank it below image larger. Now let's compare it with let's enhance. So here's deep image.ai and here's let's enhance. Now that's going to be a little difficult. You know why? Because both have different characteristics. So I'm just going to turn it on. Maybe take it a little to the right hand side. Just make sure that this is aligned well. Now this is aligned. So deep image.ai, this is let's enhance. Let's have a look at the entire face. So let's enhance. This is deep image AI. I think let's enhance is better. So deep image.ai goes under that. Let's compare deep image AI with big JPEG. So deep image AI and this is big JPEG. I think they're the same website. It's just so similar. Deep image.ai and this is big JPEG. Let's just zoom in for comparison sake. Deep image AI, big JPEG. Deep image AI, big JPEG. It's very hard to say. Deep image AI, big JPEG. All right. Now look at the nose. This might be the tiebreaker. So deep image AI doesn't have any ugly artifacts. Big JPEG does. So I think the ranking is fine. So as of now, the ranking is first image larger, second, let's enhance, third, deep image AI, and the fourth, big JPEG. Now let's look at the next platform. If you're enjoying the tournament so far, do give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you dislike the video, just dislike it twice. Just kidding. The next platform on the surgeon's table is imageupscaler.com. But honestly, I gotta tell you, looking at this website, it doesn't give me much inspiration. It's so old school. All right, anyway, let's just go ahead and choose resize image now. Look at the example they gave us. It's kind of pretty too much. All right, let's click on it one more time. It was not working the first time. Look at the design, it's not good. Just choose the file. Presentation matters, but anyway, at the end of the day, what matters? Quality. So let's go ahead and choose portrait, low res, folder, portrait. All right, let's open that. And very simple button called upscale image. Let's click on that. Now, while it's waiting, they also have another services where they manually do it by hand. Of course, you need to pay for that to order manual professional retouch, press here. All right, so I'm gonna just browse through that while it's you know doing the upscale version oh so they don't tell the price as well you know that's kind of reasonable it depends from image to image as to how much work it needs so i think this one is reasonable so it has finished processing so let's just drag down and click on download so this is image upscaler and this is image larger image upscaler this is image i think that both of them are pretty good have a look at the skin the skin is very nicely created by image upscaler don't be deceived by the cover of the book. The website didn't look very inspiring, but again, look at the, hey, look at the quality. It's good. So this is image larger. This is image upscaler, image larger, image upscaler. But I still think if you look at the eyes, image larger did a pretty good job, right? This is image upscaler. Look at the lines in the eyelashes. And this is image larger. I think still image larger is at the top. So let's take image upscaler at the bottom of image larger and let's turn off image larger. Now let's compare image upscaler with let's enhance. So this is image upscaler. This is let's enhance image upscaler. Let's enhance. Now both are very different styles. I kind of like, you know, let's enhance a little bit for its softness. But then again, I can't really decide image upscaler. Let's enhance. I think that let's enhance is a little better on the faces, even though it has just taken away all the details. I think it's very soft and nice. Let's look at the hair. This is important. I think this is where, you know, image upscaler wins because it doesn't have all those lines and those artifacts. But in this side, let's enhance wins. Image upscaler doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to kind of place image upscaler beneath let's enhance. Both are very, very, very close. Now let's compare image upscaler with deep image AI. So this is image upscaler. This is deep image AI. 
and let's look at the hair image upscaler deep image ai i think image upscaler is definitely better than deep image ai still at the top we have image larger let's move on to the next platform now this video turned very expensive just because of our next platform which is gigapixel ai from topaz labs I had actually tried the software before, so I couldn't get the trial version. I had to buy the software just for this tutorial, and it cost me about $75. So please watch the video and make it worthwhile. I've already spent too much just making this video. Just look at the website. It does give you a lot of promises. Very well made website, of course, it's expensive. So this is the before, this is the after. In places like Image Larger, you do pay a monthly fee, which is smaller, but then even though this is $75, this is kind of a one-time fee, with the exception that you might have to upgrade the software later. But anyway, I made that investment and I have installed this software. So this is the software, Gigapixel AI. All right, it does give you a short tutorial, but we don't want that. So let's go ahead and open the image by clicking on Open. And in the low res folder, we're going to choose the portrait and hit Open. Now it does give you a preview of the processed version right here. So what do we want to do? Four times, six times, how many times? you want to make it larger. So we're going to compare very fairly. So we're going to choose four times and settings. I'm going to leave that to auto. All right. Do you want face refinement? It was on. So I'm going to leave it on. And this is the result on the right hand side. We can just move through the image and check out the results. Now, where do you want to place it? So you can simply click on browse and we're going to place it in the upscaling folder in the upscaled area. And let's just select the folder and suffix edit three is fine. We're going to just change that later. So first section is processing. What kind of processing we want? We went through the settings and where do you want to save it? And what file format do you want? Do you want to convert the file format? No, I'm going to keep it JPEG. So let's go ahead and start it. Let's see how much time this one takes. Now, keep in mind, this is a software. This is not online. So that's an upside to it that you don't need an internet connection to make this work. And the second thing that I liked about this, that this is a one time purchase. However, at the end of the day, what matters? Quality. So let's just go ahead and compare the quality. Now let's compare this with image larger. So this is gigapixel AI and this is image larger. You know, I'm very disappointed. I spent $75. And look at this, look at the lines it's creating. So this is image larger, this is gigapixel. The results are good, but any image with artifacts and faults like that, I cannot accept, look at the lines. I'm not sure if you can see it, but have a look at these horizontal lines that it's creating. I don't like that. It's not all over the image, but I have made several trials. And every time I process something with Gigapixel AI, I see these lines. Look at these lines, even though they are small and even though if you zoom out, you cannot see them. But hey, when you print them, these will be very, very visible. If you process them, these will be visible. I don't like that. So I just disqualify Gigapixel AI. Absolutely. You know what? Uh, even outside of this video, when I was trying out Gigapixel AI, it gave me the same results. Maybe it's a fault with the Windows operating system. Maybe it won't give the, the, this kind of results in a Mac. But then again, you're paying $75 for something and it's creating this kind of an anomaly. It's not at all acceptable. I don't like that. So I'm going to place it last. This is disqualified. Now coming to the last platform, and this is the kind of the platform that you have. If you didn't have this platform, you wouldn't be watching videos on this channel. And if you're watching this video on this channel, even if you don't have this platform, thank you, thank you so very much. And the platform is simply Photoshop. So I'm gonna open the portrait low resolution on a different window. So let's just drag it and drop it into Photoshop on a different window right there. So this, as you can see, is the low resolution image. Now let's go to image and then image size and we're going to upscale it to 4000. Now make sure resampling is checked and preserve details 2.0 is checked because this is the latest technology for upscaling. So let's just click on that and hit OK. Now there's a reduce noise option as well if you're interested in that. Hit OK. So this is Photoshop's result. Let's just copy it by pressing Ctrl or Command A, Ctrl or Command C and then let's come here and at the very top, you're going to create a brand new layer and paste it. So this is kind of Photoshop's result. I'm going to make it a little bigger. So this is from Photoshop. Photoshop upscaling. Let's compare this with image larger. So this is image larger. This is Photoshop. Of course, image larger is better, but I like the texture and simplicity of Photoshop. Let's look at the hair. 
this is photoshop upscaling this is image larger image larger is definitely better so let's put photoshop upscaling below image larger now let's compare it with let's enhance so photoshop upscaling let's enhance photoshop upscaling let's enhance of course let's enhance is better so let's put photoshop upscaling at the bottom now let's compare it with image upscaler adobe sensei what are you doing so this is photoshop upscaling this is image upscaler now that might be a close one let's look at the lips photoshop upscaling image upscaler let's look at the hair photoshop upscaling image upscaler now there image upscaler wins let's put photoshop upscaling at the bottom now let's compare it with deep image ai photoshop upscaling deep image ai photoshop upscaling is better on the hair let's look at the lips deep image ai photoshop upscaling deep image ai photoshop upscaling let's look at the nose so this is deep image ai photoshop upscaling i think photoshop upscaling has found its right spot and therefore we have ranked all of these platforms let's put it right there so that i can see what's happening and also let's make the size panel options and let's make the size smaller so that you can see the ranking right here so here goes the ranking image larger for me produced the best results then let's enhance on the second position third position image upscaler fourth photoshop's built-in upscaling fifth deep image ai sixth big jpeg seventh and disqualified gigapixel ai at least for my system so there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching the battle of the upscalers. Now do keep in mind that none of these software platform companies ever paid me to make this video. In fact, I'm very disappointed, especially with Gigapixel AI because I had to spend $75 and all for what? But anyway, if this video was helpful for you, I that was all worth it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials or videos like this. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.